What's going on, dope shit gang? It's your boy, Darnell Bradley, back at y'all with another video. And today, we're going through the lineups. We're going to start it off with Maguire, Rock Lee, Song, Easy Fight, featuring Rustage. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We get, he, get, he, get, he pulled a name on us. He pulled a name on us. We like when we see people pulling names. Rock Lee's a dope-ass character, so let's see what he got on it. You know, I got to do a Rock Lee who did it best, and I'm glad we're going we to get Maguire in on some of these things. But be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. <laughs> Shit. Follow me on all that there social media. We gonna hop into this without any further ado. In three, two, one. Good. I'm gonna break my bones. Now I'm gonna stop at a take. I like I like the the tempo. It's on off, off top. Hold up. I like that. My bones. Now I'm gonna stop at a take. <laughs> I'm gonna break my bones. Now I'm gonna stop and take it slow. Uh, you's gonna waste the go. Step into me. Rust is just really getting, really dipping with that. Uh, you know, he loves that shit. I'm gonna break my bones. Now I'm gonna stop and take it slow. Uh, you's gonna waste the go. Step into me in my danger zone. Uh, you better stay at home. I'm on an AK flow. I'm gonna be trading blows. I'm gonna make it known. I'm, 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 I'm gonna take my place. You wanna box and ruin your face. You wanna talk about who you hate, hate, play. You wanna box, I'll ruin your face. Is this like specific? It's an easy fight easy fight so like i don't know like in what in what capacity they're talking about uh uh lee but you know that um mcguire does the it's not really so closely tied as to the anime <clears throat> usually his songs have a lot of standalone room i'm gonna take my place you want to box and ruin your face you want to talk about who you hate hate blink and you're far too late i'll be the king like charlamagne enter the ring and you start to pray where to begin when i spell you fade can't stop lee because i'm on with pain Okay, can't stop Lee. Okay, all right. So when you begin, when I spell you fade, can't stop Lee. Can't stop Lee. All right, I wonder if uh, if McGuire's gonna follow up on that. But I like the beat. I like the tempo. I like this this the 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 the, the fastness of it. You know what I'm saying? Lots of energy. We fuck with that hook. We like that hook. I love the energy of this track. I love where it's going. You know what I'm saying? It's like he made the direct Lee reference, but this thing still has a lot of standalone room just as like a song. You feel me? Let's go. That's what, like I said, and y'all see this in the Who Did It Best tracks that uh, generally when they do, <clears throat> when the song has some standalone room or more standalone room, and that just as, as the audience will perceive it, I, I feel like it does uh, better. Or for me, just personally, I feel like it's a better song. Uh, comparatively, not to say that the other way is not good. Um, but this, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with this. Like, I like this, and I like the tip that McGuire's on. Like I said, Rush just do that, the, the, the direct reference, the Lee reference, you know what I mean? He said Lee, um, but that didn't really, it kind of was swept under the wave of the musical piece, you feel me? So it's not really something that somebody would hear and be like, well, I don't understand. I, I feel like it's something that would just kind of go on as the listener was listening to it or they never seen Naruto, like they wouldn't, they may not understand what he was just talking about, but they, they can still be vibing with the track at that point. So I don't think it would like hinder anything. I like that. <laughs> That's cool. If 
But like just just in how this does connect to Rock Lee, I really like it because Rock Lee is that try hard ass character. You know what I mean? Didn't have Genjutsu, didn't have Ninjutsu. All he had was Taijutsu. All he had was these hands, and oh God, he was giving them to everybody. <laughs> like, uh, and yeah, like dude would do these like painstaking exercises, break bones, shit that you're just not supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And like just do all that persevering to become a great ninja. So I, I fuck with it. Let's go. But just like in the in the sense of a regular person like that, try hard. You ain't going. You know what I'm saying? I like it. <laughs> That was dope. Yo. Yo. That was dope. Listen to dope shit here. Let's go. I was feeling that. I was feeling that. Um, I like the beat. The video was cool. The video was cool. The hook was on. I think that it really captured Lee in the sense of don't don't expect an easy fight because people like they, they assume that when he they assume they could beat him because he didn't know Genjutsu or, or Ninjutsu and then he got up in there with that Taijutsu and just put hands on everything. You know what I'm saying? And just in the sense of uh, the song having a standalone room for the average listener, just about like you're not an easy fight, just in a general sense. You know what I'm saying? You are a challenge. You are a competitor. You belong here. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I really like how they dived into that, and I really think that they executed the meaning of the song very well. And I think the beat was dope. I think it was sick that Maguire got rushes on the track with him, man. But that's my take on that. So we're gonna hop on over to the next one. All right, y'all. We here with Slick. It's been a minute. Naruto Villains Drill Rap God Complex. Slick, Slick featuring Haztick. Produced by Ice Digger and Hassan. Has, is that a Hassan? Hassan Lee? Okay. Um, but uh, yeah. Interesting. We know that 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 Slick is definitely known for that drill style. When it comes to nerdcore, I know that on his channel he's been doing a little bit of both. You know, some nerdcore, some regular stuff. He wants to keep it flexible. I feel it. I feel it. I think a lot of people before they like hopped into nerdcore, not saying that he's gonna hop in with two feet, but I know a lot of people before they like hopped into nerdcore, they were kind of like teetering, like Dizzy was on that tip for a while. Uh, but when he gets down here and does this shit, I think he freaking kills it. So we got the villains. I see the Akatsuki here, but you know there are a million and one damn villains in Naruto, so we gonna see what they got on it. We got spitters, and you know they come with that with that with that sound that, that we fuck with over here. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there social media. We ain't here without any further ado. In three, two, one. Quick. Ice, ice, ice. Wake up to reality. Nothing ever goes as planned in this accursed world. The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. Listen. Did you really think you were slick? <laughs> Okay, so we I like that. The road tomorrow. They go, they go, they go. I got you. Let's go. I know snakes are long shot. I am one. Chase you inside of your head. Yeah, you can't run. Genjutsu shit. Okay, went from Orochimaru to Genjutsu, like Itachi status. Yeah, no, that's 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 Obito status. All right. Lots of lots of reference points. Bring pain to your village. You know what I'm saying? Pain was literally in the village, hidden in the leaves. So he's going on some stuff, bro. Blood in my eyes, I'm gonna wash out with red rum, murder backwards. Let's go. Okay, I got you. Yeah. 
Nigga feeling froggy, he can get hit with the pull. The video's doing really nice with catching his reference points. We're feeling froggy, hit with the pull. Jiraiya, pull with the, 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 the rod sticking out of pain. How I got you. I like it. I like I like how the video's really picking up on this. Makes it a lot of things easier to understand. Bitch, I'm an icon. I'm an icon. That nigga feeling froggy, he can get hit with the pole. First, I let it rain on him, then I rain over him. Yeah, you know how it goes. Ooh, I like that. First I let it rain on him, then I rain over him. Okay, all right, nigga, let's move. Get hit with the pole. First I let it rain on him, then I rain over him. Whoa. Yeah, you know how it goes. Uh -huh. Planet under devastation. Don't push the all my... Planetary devastation pain moves. Okay, I'll leave your planet... This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This shit is dope. This shit is dope. Because a lot of times when I, when I, when I, when I, when I hear it's like... Not that he had, there was anything wrong with what he was doing or the people that are on the track, but it was like... He'd say something... Or they'd say something, enter character name. They'd say something, enter character name. Now that that's good, as in it keeps it going. It's still it's still a bar. You still something to catch on, do something to make you think. But there was a lot of that. This he on another tip. Like I fuck with this. This 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 way way lyrical toolbox. We digging in there now. We dig we, we digging in there now. All right, let's go. Then I rain over him. Yeah, you know how it goes. I need the planet under devastation. Don't push the almighty. I'm awakening. I need the house feelings looking vacant. Hundred and two keys in the basement. I was feeling looking vacant because you know he pain destroyed their entire. It was ridiculous. That motherfucker said just like, uh, boom, big ass crater. Like when it comes to what it, because you think about it, pain did in a few minutes what Orochimaru had been trying to do his whole life. Like damn, shit was crucial. Took Orochimaru some seals, henchmen, and like eight goddamn big ass snakes, and still couldn't get it done. This nigga pain flew up in the sky and said, nah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Mr. Almighty, I'm awakening. I need the house feelings looking vacant. I need the jury keys in the basement. Niggas thought they killed me off. After killing my bitch, I saw that shit and it made me evolve. Okay, now he's talking about Obito. After killing my All right, let's go. Niggas thought they killed me off. After killing my bitch, I saw that shit and it made me evolve. I'm gonna need my revenge. I'm not that kid from way back at was saw. I got my eye on you. I've been waiting for you to fall. You know what? For what I've heard from Slick, this is this is this is different. You know what I'm saying? Like usually when I'm he'll they he'll rap from not so much, or from what I've heard from him and others on his tracks, they won't necessarily rap from the perception of the character. They will use the anime and character as references while spitting about their own shit. You know what I'm saying? This is him more diving into each character as it goes along, and I feel it. I fuck with it, and the video really helps carry that along. Let you know what he's doing. So I, I fuck with this. I like I like what's going on with this. From way back at was saw. I got my eye on you. I've been waiting for you to fall. I got my eye on you, Obi. That's rude. <laughs> I'm in the ground waiting to start. I'm feeling shy. See, I'm back for the blood. Hashirama, I wish that nigga would. <laughs> Hashirama. That's what I... Okay, but here's the thing, though. I like it better this way because it's not as much. You know what I'm saying? I, I like the 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 inter character name here. Say some set or say some shit. Inter character name here. I like that as a part of the whole cohesive unit, not being the the unit itself. So I really like how he's doing this. Like Hashirama Wood style juice. You get it. All right. Can't nobody put me back in the wood. Ten saying I'm back with guns. If it ain't Suku, yo. Can't nobody put me back at a tent because he was you know in the coffee. You feel me? Let's go. Can't nobody put me back in the wood. Eight or ten saying I'm back with guns. If it ain't Suku, yo me watch how I put these niggas to sleep. If it ain't Suku, yo me watch. Let's go. Yo, slick on. He on with this one. Hell yeah, niggas. If it ain't Sukiyomi, watch how I put these niggas to sleep. Infinite Sukiyomi. It literally puts everyone to sleep. It puts them in an infinite dream state. You get it? Alright, so let's go. But he's also when I put these niggas to sleep, man. Let's go, bro. My back was good, good. If it is Sukuyomi, watch how I put these niggas to sleep. Pulling them nigga body like Neji. Someone should have told you nigga about me. You know you gotta you you gotta use the Neji. If you talk about the villains, you gotta use it. When I did my mod of the track, I had to talk about Neji. Yes, that's always gonna hit people. I'll fuck with it. Let's go. Watch how I put these niggas to sleep. Holding a nigga. Holding a nigga like Neji. Let's go. Your body like Neji. Someone should have told you nigga about me. I know snakes all on shoddy. Oh, this was the hook? Hey, yo, I fuck with this as a hook. That shit is, like, hashtag did a little fresh-ass thing here, bro. Chase you inside of your head, yeah, you can't lie. I bring pain to your belly. You wanna be a hero, I am a villain. Light in my eyes, I watch out in red rocks. I side with these demons, I'm watching my pants rock. So land on your soul to the things that you want. Give in to your sins and you'll be for your guys. 
fuck with that. Yo. Just talking. Yo, that was dope. Listen, dope shit here. Yo, that was on. Barred out. She was solid. You know what I'm saying? I love what Hashtag did there on the hook. Slick came in there sliding all over that thing. Because it was a slick thing. You get it? You get what I did there? You see it? No. Um, but yo, that was cool. Like, I love, I love the, you know, what I like, the same thing I like about Slick, well, one of the same things I like about Slick that I like about Maguire is that their sound is so fresh to Nerdcore, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 and I've seen other people do drill in Nerdcore, undoubtedly known, uh, Slick's the one that brought it into Nerdcore, I still think he does that style, and if the best in Nerdcore, I fuck with it. Just like how uh, Maguire brought pop to Nerdcore, and I, I, I love it when you when you get these musical styles and these artists that bring them into Nerdcore and they just make it. Uh, you feel me? Like the, the, the community is going to to grow. Uh, friends and enemies, <laughs> but it's it's gonna grow regardless. Uh, but this was dope. Like the way he spoke on uh, the the characters, the evil characters, and how the video like lined up with who he was talking about. Like this was sick. Like this was well done. The beat was on. They are barring out. This was crazy. That's my take on that. So we gonna hop on over to the next one. All right, y'all. We here with this man, Screwface John, featuring Tech Nine, Antisocial. Now this man, I will say this about Screw off top. He don't lack at all in the promotion of his shit. <laughs> like, oh my God. If Screw's doing it before that shit drops, you will hear about this motherfucker 50 Latin times. <laughs> but it's always dope when it drops. But if you, if you ain't good and prepared for it, I don't know what you're doing. Because that man sure as hell let you know. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there social media. And we getting in here without any further ado. In three, two, one. Click. Oh, he said this. I remember him saying this was on some movie shit too. Ooh, got that old school b boy vibe. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. I feel it. X out of that. Okay. So okay, let's go. I feel anti-social. I trust you, dog. Now I feel anti-social. Let me get into specifics. For cut, they would change their position. Niggas be switching, turning their homies to victims. A biscuit can turn them to bitches. So that's why I'm waking. I won't get trapped in the prison than be forced to rap for a system. No cash or resistance will make me attack on my niggas. I'd rather get lashes from women. My passion. All right. Yo, hold up, listen. What's the rap for a system? No cash or assistance will make me a t No cash or assistance. Well, my niggas, I'd rather get lashes from women. I'm not get lashes. Come on, bro. Okay. Well, because, you know, like, screw his whole thing. His whole thing, you know, real nigga talk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's that's his whole thing. So, like, I, 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 I feel it where he coming from. Let's go. Then be forced to rap for a system. No cash or assistance will make me a t Well, my niggas, I'd rather get lashes from women. My passion is thriller. Quarterback snapping for Skrilla. The rest of you passing the fear is like placing the mirror. Rest of you pass interfere. Oh, let's go, bro. Yo, y'all, y'all gotta. That's what the, I fuck with. Screw. I like his shit. I like his reactions. Like I said, the reason I got into reacting in the first place, like this is over a year ago now. The reason I got into reacting in the first place was Screw, Crypt, and uh, No Life Shack. 
I watched those three, and from them, it inspired me to do this. So, like, when it comes to, like, hearing out for bars and this, 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 you know what I'm saying? I feel that when I do it, or when you do it, like how Screw does it, as a rapper, and you go in here and you doing whatever, whatever, and now you spitting, I feel like that's just, like, that's dope within whether Screw takes something that he's learned lyrically from doing reactions or when he puts out a track and he's doing these things and he's rapping and putting it down like that for others to react to it. It's just like this whole co uh, cohesive ass cycle. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the YouTube machine. And I feel like when he put out music, especially when people that react, that put out music, when they be barring out or when they be saying these things, you know what I'm saying? They always got it in their mind, like who gonna catch what? But then you got songs like this where it's like, you want to catch bars, but he's talking to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with this, bro. Up in the prison, then be forced to rap for a system. No cash or resistance will make me attack on my niggas. I'd rather get lashes from women. My passion is thriller. Quarterback snap of a squirrel. The rest of you pass in the fear. Rusty, come on. Fuck place in the mirror and there ain't a chance that you illa. Fuck it, I dance at the villa. All by my lonely, you only got a couple of woodies. And we'll tell your camp to thriller. You action figure. Might have to slap a nigga, cause I ain't you rapid nigga. Swallow your pride. You ain't our friends, that's a lie. You call everybody your guy. A nigga, that's why. You don't got a soul that would ride. You really think they're on your side? Well, I wonder if he talking about somebody directly. Because I know Screw, Screw's big into saying somebody's name, but I think this is just like a general track. You feel me? All right, let's go. You call everybody your guy, a nigga, that's why. You don't got a soul that would ride. You really think they're on your side? Well, I bet if I pull your niggas to the side and offer them money and piles and gave them a nine, they'd probably shoot at your spine, but huh, you probably still blob. Woo! Money and piles and gave them a nine, they'd probably shoot at your spine, but huh, you probably still blob. Woo! Ooh, yo, he talking real. I thought my said, nigga said, hold up. This nigga said. These your homies, right? These your homies, right? Or you think so? Because I bet you. I bet you. If I slid these niggas a few of them. Slid these niggas a few of them. And told them to go handle you. Bet they do it. And you know what? He ain't lying. They're motherfuckers that are like that. You know what I'm saying? The songs like this. I like them. Because like it kind of you know it it, it 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 zooms you into the ugly, you know what I mean? It zooms you into the ugly, makes you makes you question shit, you know what I'm saying? Question the people around you, you know what I'm saying? If you really listen to these kind of songs, like I mean like take them to heart. And I feel like there's a part that as far as taking the part, don't like let it control your entire being. But as far as it letting you think about something or maybe bringing something back to your thoughts that you hadn't thought about in a long time, just reassessing some shit. You know what I'm saying? I think that songs like this are very very good. Uh, and and um, relatable and also very very self reflective. So like I fuck with this. I like I like I like the whole the whole angle. This is on right now. The money and piles and gave him a nine. They probably shoot at your spine, but huh, you probably still blob. Hit somebody. <laughs> so this is what he meant by like they on some movie shit. But I like it though. Woo! They don't even know you. But they gonna talk and they gonna plot like they gonna root you. Cut you off now I feel it. I sush you. I'll trust your dog now I feel it. I sush you. They don't even know you, but they gonna talk and they gonna plot like they gonna roll you. Cut you off now, I feel it. I sush you. I'll trust you, dog. Now I feel it. I sush you. I remember when I had a click, like you 40 my block it was thick. We hopping the whips for the grop you block and then we popping the blick. You lost in the brick and a coffin you get. Me and my partners we was dropping the hits, had a lock in this bitch, but it stopped in the sits. Nobody left as me, I'm rocking it with. I think that as you like. I think it's something that a lot of artists will experience over time. You have Tech Nine, uh, been doing it, like he's like the OG underground nigga. You feel me? I can only imagine what this man has gone through in his time doing this shit. The people that he had has come close to, the people he's fell off with, close people he's had to cut off for bullshit ass reasons. That's why I feel like this song, like how 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 it comes to this and things like that, relatable to everybody. And I will say that's where, you know, your 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 normal side of rap. 
kind of hold something on the nerdcore side of rap depending on how you're going about the nerdcore side like if you're doing the whole inspired by theme i think it's like same ground level you know as far as relatability to your audience but if you're like going more direct into the character nerdcore wise there's a there's an aspect that you're gonna miss that those inspired by songs have and that these songs have you know what i'm saying as far as relatability because you could tell like you know these motherfuckers had to have gone through some shit at some point just like i feel like any anybody success or otherwise you know what i'm saying because this this could be this could happen on any kind of scale you know what i'm saying people that you thought had your back really do some slash shit on you you feel me and then you gotta cut motherfuckers off, be like anti-social, you know what I'm saying? That's why I like, that's why I fuck with this. We was dropping the hits, had a lock in this bitch, but it stopped in the sits. Nobody left as me, I'm rocking it with. I don't feel like I'm still with the gang. Probably need to go back on the black and bang. But I'm about to be 50, I'm in the house, I'll be picky back on when not to be iffy now with the fame. See, look at this man, he tell you, hold up. But I'm about to be 50. He's like, oh, sometimes I wanna go back on the block, but he's like, I'm about to be. He's like, I ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> I like it. I'm in the house, I'll be picky back on when not to be iffy now with the fame. But I keep the 50 count with me, need be. Can't let the trip be so screw just in the video just killing people <laughs> he's just killing he's just shooting people that's hit me easily ripping out in the ground if he sees me my blicky style itching now quickly he he whatever reason i get caught deserts it but i'm three-dimensional so this thought's immersive i don't know something from my lips brought the curse is feeling like a preacher that i'm pissed off the church is missed not a lot of people gonna be able, like tech nine's lyrical style like his flow the cadence how he'll rhyme and put the words together like beyond just the speed part beyond this the chopper flow Shit's intricate. Shit is like the, the the syllable isolation and how he does it. Like when you get down to the technical part of his rap, is like it's fucking amazing. You know what I'm saying? When I claim, when I will say the way Tech spits, think about like damn bull motherfuckers I be talking about. Like as far as even when they speed it up, that lyrical articulation, isolating each word, not letting anything blur together, not slurring anything. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's one of the main reasons I fuck with Tech. Like I love the, I love the style this motherfucker raps in. So this thought's immersive, I don't know something from my lips brought the curses Feeling like a preacher that I'm pissed off the church, missed off the verses That's far from the truth, I'm still the same as still bringing you bars from the booth My homies missing, I'm feeling them bar from my roots I never swallowed this, that is a hard one to chew No talking, I'm feeling I'm anti-social Back in the day, really needed my niggas to stand my vocals No money can buy the camaraderie, never you can buy Folks No, no matter how much we don't link up forever, I stand by Roho Alright, alright, he's still, he's still, he's still saying he rap his shit. He's still saying he rap his shit. Let's go, alright. They don't even know you. Uh. But they gonna talk and they gonna plot like they gonna root you. Cut you off, now I feel anti-social. I trust your dog, now I feel anti-social. They don't even know you. But they gonna talk and they gonna plot like they gonna root you. Cut you off, now I feel anti-social. I don't trust you though, now I feel it. I don't run that back. Okay. You got to choose now. You got to choose now. I was feeling that now. Yo, that was dope. We listen to dope shit here. I really like the, the the tone of the track. Just basically what it was all about. Like the relatability of this one is what really got me. Now, as far as like the little movie parts, like I can see like the the symbolism as far as like cutting niggas off. But I feel antisocial and how he just kind of like he just like exing niggas. Now I don't know if that made him the snake one or if he was hitting niggas that was snakes that he was that were that he was close with at one point in time and they proved themselves to be other than trustworthy or something like that but um just like on the, on a song basis like yeah bro like i fucked with that i fucked with that i feel like there's a lot there's a lot to be gained from tracks like this beyond just the listening aspect beyond just the musicality of it because the beat was sick they was on like like it had a it had a nice little thing to it but just lyrically, like how they were talking, like what they were talking about in the sense of, you know, basically just hard to trust people. You feel me? You feel me? Like circle small, small circle. And even then, you know what I'm saying? It's not even like a hundred. There's a bunch of people that feel like it. You can feel close to the, as close as off held to somebody. But the, the, the brass tacks of it is you don't know what people are, are, are capable of. So I think there's always a level of. A, a level a level of wall you know what i'm saying just like 
keep keep yourself protected. I think this is a very very good track. I think it's like a, it, it kind of encapsulated all of that like very well. And like for me personally, just as far as content wise and like what it was talking about for me, it was one of Screw's better tracks. Uh, just because of the, the the message and like what they was talking about, the beat and everything was cool, whatever, whatever. But I, I liked I liked the message. I like what they was getting across here. And it was dope him doing something with Tech. Unlike the the, the cipher that he kind of made people think Tech was on. <laughs> But nah, this was dope, man. That's my take on that. Screw did a thing there, y'all. We gonna oh shit, fuck, ooh, god damn, hit that shit hard, didn't I? All right, nope, we back. All right, we gonna hop on over to the next one. All right, y'all, that's it. We gonna close it out with the man damn bull. Overwatch rap, Tarborn not to be. Now Tarborn, my nigga. I fuck with Tarborn. I don't, you know, I don't play games like that, and I haven't played Overwatch in a minute myself. I know there's new characters, this is this, but Tarborn. Honestly, you know what? When I first used him, I hated him. And I know he's been nerfed and changed and whatever, whatever. But I'm talking, like, way earlier. Uh, when he used to shoot that little thing and a little... But I actually got really, really good at it. Um, but his ability with the turrets was so stupid. Like, I'm like, wait, for what? Like, I'm over here like... You know, you can put the turret in so many fucked off places. I love putting it on things that moved, like little platforms that moved. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I thought that was one of the most broken things about him, but there are there were others that had somewhat of a turret thingy, but nothing with his range. You feel me? It was like as soon as you got on the map, it threw a bow, 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 just started shooting at you. You know what I'm saying? I thought like his little his shit was some of the, the stupidest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I love I love fucking with him. But you already know Dan Bull be here with the craziness, so let's just check this out. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that, there's social media. We ain't here without any further ado. In three, two, one, click! Uh, like clockwork. What is the name of the person that this song is all about? His name is Tarbjorn, or is it Tarbjorn? Tarb... Okay. Okay. <laughs> What is the name of the person that this song is all about? His name is Tarbjorn, no. or is it Tarbjorn? No. Whatever your preferred term is, I really don't care. I'm singing it the way I want to, like it's bird fur. If you remember, preferred term is, I really don't care. I'm singing. I'm singing it the way I want to. It the way I want to, like it's like it's burnt fur. Mm. Bird fur. If you remember the only crisis, you weren't there. The yellow bearded fella. Oh yeah, I don't know any of like the lore or any of like their their like story storylines. So, all right, so let's go. The way I want to, like it's bad fur. If you remember the only crisis, you weren't there. The yellow bearded fellas made an oil and grease. The soup you even struggled to score off with boiling bleach. She never hesitates, he's unafraid to get his hands mucky. So if your dog gets splashed, you're damn lucky. Hands up if your hands just the metal claw. No, not you. Hands up if your hands just the metal claw. You got the. Okay, I li like I said, I like the I like the way this dude float. Is this thing like a for real cartoon? I need to watch. If there's something like, I want to watch some Overwatch shit. Versus just playing the game. <laughs> your dog gets splashed, you're damn lucky. Hey. Hands up if your hands just the metal claw. No, not you, doing this, you missed the metaphor. Oh. <laughs> it's just not you, you miss, you just the metal. Because he's got a metal. Alright, alright, I like that. Hey. Hands up if your hands just the metal claw. No, not you, doing this, you missed the metaphor. Oh, we lost McGee to deep as Humber, Humber, Lost Lolita. Oh, that was just a figure of speech, needing to look Belisa. Watch him, watch him erect a new form. Watch him erect a new form of dwarf. Po what? <laughs> like why? <laughs> okay. Watch him erect a new form of dwarf. I always call him Tarborn. I don't, man, I don't fucking know how to pronounce this motherfucking name, dog. What's the matter? You've never seen an oat before. I, I just, I love his, his rhyme selection. How he just chooses to put words together, even when there's no bars. It's just so intricate, bro. To war with Toby overloads the multi-core What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen an orb before? Better bolt the door before you get your home repo But the dwarf who bought all of the tools in Home Depot I'm the dwarf that brought all of the tools in Home Depot I fuck with He's a builder, he's a builder You know what I'm saying? I get it Let's fuck with Ah, man, let's fuck with this, bro This is, this, this I feel like I feel like Dan's underrated, man. Like, when I see the views on his shit Like, I'm like, what? Like, on some stuff Because I think this motherfucker's probably one of the if not, if not the best lyricist in Nerdcore, 
definitely one of the best lyricists in Nerdcore. Like, it's crazy, bro. And his, his, on the music side of things, ain't no joke either, dog. As you know, his videos be doing some other type shit. This don't seem like it's one of those, but there, this video does, it is getting in there. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. It's talk to war with Toby overloads the multi -core. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen it all before? Better bolt the door before you get your home repo. But the dwarves who bought all of the tools in Home Depot. Oh. Better to be the hammer than the nail getting hit. Better to forge ahead than later on regretting it. Imagine Willie Mac. Better forge ahead. Hammer, nail, that whole, th okay, I got you, got you, got you. <laughs> the hammer, then the nail gets in hit. Better to forge your hand and later on regretting it. Imagine Willie Mesher Smith had lit his second split and said, Fuck it, now make it blame the better as a weapon smith. Predicted the Imagine Willie be the hammer, then the nail gets in hit. Better to forge your hand and later on regretting it. Imagine Willie. Imagine Willie. Messer, I don't know who that is. Lee Messer Smith had lit his second spliff and said, Fuck it, now make you blame the better as a weapon smith. Predicted the Omnic scientist to make a mess of it and trigger a bigger crisis than when the recession hit. Uh. Just shift that turret to the right, no, left a bit. We're trying to find the best position to set up a wrecking shit. That's a fact. Trying to set up for the best position, right? Yup, that was me on that motherfucker when I had that mo I would, I think I would set that up in some, some of the sweetest damn spots. Like, it would be so dope. I'd be setting that shit up behind doors <laughs> that people would be coming in on one side. They're just getting shoot from the back of their head. It's fucking amazing. All right, so let's go. And I reckon shit's about to get a bit hectic. Quit your head, I'll end up spinning like your neck is an electric whisk. I'm in a gamble over what tracks do you expect exist? I should sell them on an album. It's an eclectic disc. <laughs> I would say this so far, I think it's like the best beat we've listened to so far. Like this shit is sick. <laughs> Cooking up a chicken hot sauce, build them up and break them down. Don't argue or a barbecue, you face the flavor town. Uh. This isn't the way to use a rivet gun, is it, son? Doesn't matter, there's a job to do. We're gonna get it done. Huh. Nothing pays off as hard as hard work. Turning molten metal into a darling artwork. Uh. His forge is a melting pot in which he sculpts raw like, ore. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta respect his puns too. Like this forge is a melting pot. Get it? Just, he melts the stuff, but also like just the melting pot that everyone's in when they fucking fight and shit. Like you gotta, I, I love, I love, I love his puns and his phrasing, bro. Into a darling artwork. His forge is a melting pot in which he sculpts raw ore into melting cloths. <laughs> Manufacture with turret to that with the Swiss watches. TikTok. On some real shit, like like I said, man. The, 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 I think that one of the stupidest things in here, that turret, bro. It's so broken. I don't know what it's like now. I haven't played the game in a minute, but bro, like just, just tear it up. Better kill people. <laughs> I would rack him with that shit. Small ore into melting cloths. Manufacturing turret to duck it with the Swiss watches. Tick tock, ticking you off like tick tock clips. Tick tock, ticking you off like tick tock. That was that was clean. That was clean. Okay. You pause here, y'all. If you don't like it, get the fuck out. With turret to duck it with the Swiss watches. Tick tock, ticking you off like tick tock clips. Top tip. Don't be the one to get pissed off with. Who you get a steel toe kick to the coccyx. He's got a grip like a fist full of cock pistons, but he's just not confident with picking up chops. Just not confident with picking up chopsticks because he's his hand. Okay. Cut <laughs> pistons, but he's just not confident with picking up chopsticks. But they stop particularly inhibiting his curriculum vitae is infinitely riveted. <laughs> Get a little more of that, not all. Alright, yo, that was dope. Listen to dope shit here. That was the best beat we've heard for, for the for the whole thing. Like I love that I loved it. it had that, you know, that that that, that dubstep vibe to it. Um, I think he spit really like he's just got Dan Bull has probably got the most creative lyrical style. Him and Stupendium have got the most creative writing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even talking about like being able to bar out and all this other crazy stuff. Cause, well, it, you know what? Including that because they can do that. But when there's not even that much in there, 
like puns and just like clever verbiage and phrases and just the way they say things and even like homophone plays like and like i say puns play a really big part <laughs> like they just ah oh, then the writing the writing i think like i said tarborn tarborn motherfucker's name is tarborn to me okay um cool character like i said he was i think he was like broken before i don't know how he is now because you know they be nerfing the fuck out of shit as it progresses but dan really caught that dan really caught him and like just this this damn bull man i don't know what else to tell you the like i said his his lyrical articulation on point how he spits poetic writing it's just it's it's, it's this man guys that's that's my take on it audio's been dope so be sure to like be sure to subscribe follow me on all that there social media and i'll catch y'all the next one man peace